everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. Well, I'll have a couple of videos going up today. Yeah, you know why? Because I feel like it. Anyway, um, you might be like, wait, you're facing different. Yes, I am. We're going to try something new here. Now, you know, like you'll see in the other video, I don't have the fabric dresser sitting here anymore. I have it over there. Let me shut the light off. There we go. Because I actually have you over by the window. And we won't need that on as much. Okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do is... This is going to be a test video, basically. Um, so, I will have you guys here while I'm sewing over here, but I'm not really sure that'll work. So the other test is just pull it up right here and then lower this down, right? That makes some sort of sense. And just have you there while I'm sewing here. See, now that works, doesn't it? That works right there. And then we don't feel crowded here. We don't have to have the lamp on like I did. Let me move something because I am finishing some sewing today for my friends at Sun City Subs and Candles. Link for them will be here. Don't mind that in the background. I'm cleaning. Um, I'm doing some spring cleaning during the summer. Anyway. <laughs> And of course, you know, I moved a few things around in my room. That right there is some trash I'm getting rid of. Um, absolutely. But I still have my haunted lovelies in the room. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I moved the antique sewing machine back over here by the desk. I have Manny Quinn next to it. And then a painting. My painting easel with the painting on it. That painting is going to wane in Nicole at Sun City Soaps and Candles, which, you know, their link will come up right here somewhere while I'm talking. It always does. And, of course, as usual, you will get my affiliate code for 20% off your entire purchase at any time with Sun City Soaps and Candles because I have new things coming and do I want to give you a peek? No, because I gave you a peek in the other video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, anyway, um, one topic I would like to talk about with our lovely people that does do skincare is how are they able to breathe when they're handling materials, did anybody ever think about them? So, as you know, I cannot lie to you. And, you know, this is for Ann Rankin's daughter. And I want to make sure that, you know, that, that's this thread that's got on there. Um, I had untied it so I could show it to you. And then some thread got on it, but that's okay. Don't worry, Ann. I washed my hands. Um... So, anyway, I will be making two more. And that's it. That I'm not making any more of these. That is it. There will only be three ever made by me. Three. That right. <laughs> and this one was actually my prototype. And um, it's always good to have a prototype of something. Some people would say it's a mock-up, but this is actually a prototype. Um, so how I'm doing Wayne and Nicole's is a little different than that one because of the bridge of the nose. Don't worry, I wash my face and hands as well. So it'll fit. It'll fit. Oh, you thought I was going to show you the inside of that. No. You don't get to see that. So what will go on right here on the machine. And we'll do a test. Okay. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. 
Oh, yes, definitely. And of course, as you guys all know, I use the Singer Heavy Duty 4452. Oh, my chair is different. Oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. That's why I'm sitting up higher, everyone. Yes, that is indeed why I'm sitting up higher. Now, the test is to see if you guys are able to see better from where you are now from where I used to have to put you for filming and then things weren't right. And it's gloomy outside, so I'm really surprised that the lighting is okay in here. Southern New Jersey is having like weird weather. Now, not well. I also reset my tension and distance on here. Um, that always helps when you're sewing. So, coming up this weekend, like I said in the other video, which will be up soon, um, on Instagram at least before I load it to YouTube. This weekend, I will be teaching you guys historicals about Native American regalia. Oh, how do I know? No, stay. Did it stay or did it go? <laughs> it did stay, which is great. Um, you're thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to learn her design. No, you're not. Oh no, because I'm not teaching you the whole design of this. No, no, nobody is stealing my design. Thank you. Um, yeah, I do notice that right here, sometimes the, um, plate will end up with three threads. I don't know why it does that, but it always seems to do that. I'm not mad at that. My machine works. I'm uploading over on Instagram, but, um, the other thing that I will be doing, let me shut that off, um, I, because... I literally, oh wait, I have the wrong one there. I literally have to, um, and no, that's not how that goes. I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> because I, gosh darn it. Now, I did make my own pattern for this. And I'm not going to show that to you either. I'm pretty sure you get the freaking concept. Um... So, I have this fabric to use over it. And, of course, you know, I stopped plenty of this. I can make wallets. I can make phone holders. Whatever. Um, I can make a new bra out of that if I wanted, you know, for the under part. And just take a different fabric here. And just cover it with a different fabric. Because that does work. Now, again, I will be making me a new set of regalia, which is nice. Nice. I love my first set. Don't get me wrong. But I want to show you guys other styles. There are different styles of making regalia. If you want to learn more about the and, and yeah I'm Blackfoot but if you want to learn about the Southern Cheyenne Southern Arapaho 
go watch Making Regalia with Joaquin Lonelage. Now, he doesn't use the Singer Heavy Duty 4452. He uses a Bernina from Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> Bernina of Oklahoma. Um, so, yeah, basically that's where he is. Uh, he's in Oklahoma. Um, and, you know, like, it's a uh, Papi Yellow, which means it's all good. Um, you know, it's good. <laughs> it is, it's good. Um, and I'm also learning, uh, the languages to keep them going. I gotta dust my screen. Anyway, um, uh, but yeah, and I'm going to be teaching how to make, well, yeah, that's in the other video. Um, but I'm just going to tell you again anyway. Um, I'm going to make my regalia. I'm going to uh, also make Native American tacos. I just can't believe how dreary the weather is. You know what? Maybe Mother Earth is sad that we can't get out there and do the healing dances um, this year everyone uh, and maybe Mother Earth is reacting like there will be no beautiful uh, powwow sorry that's my death wish coffee over there I'm not sorry and I'm not ashamed I've been doing a lot of cleaning I have more cleaning to do probably today after I'm done sewing but, um, yeah, the weather's been weird here, and, like, it, to me, it's like Mother Earth trying to wash away the negative that's been going on, and if you let things get to you in your mindset, you're stuck. It's time for people to go forward. Uh, stop staying stuck. If you stay stuck, where are you going in life? You're just, you're stuck in a hole. Uh, that makes any sense to you? Don't be stuck in a hole like that. Um, it's not healthy for you. So a lot of you may wonder, how do I keep happy? Uh, I have things to do. Like, Obviously, I have life skills. If you have a life skill, share a life skill. My paintings are a life skill. All right, I painted that years ago when I lived with Rocco from Roaming with Rocco. Um, I'll leave his channel down in the description box because he does have a few new videos. Um, of his life in Florida now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Plan B and Plan C. Yep. He's keeping himself happy. Uh, he did hurt his back again. Not in the same area. But he did hurt his back again. So let's, you know, hope that that's okay. Because he has to wait, I think, until next month to go to the VA. What is going on here? Um, wait, what is that? Oh, you see it's some sort of like weird darkness right there? Hey, look, y'all know that this house is haunted and that's showing up on camera. Wow. <laughs> if it's anything negative it can go away go away if your negative energy go away you're not wanted here it doesn't feel like negative energy though um this is weird <laughs> you can physically see that um, and it's getting darker in here. Oh my gosh. Like, 
Maybe I should just trim that. Yeah? Awesome. That was weird. Like something white just went past my window on the outside of it. Oh, tell me that's not weird. Okay, anyway, this is not some story time thing. Okay. <laughs> anyway, there's that light. Now you see, like, whatever that was is gone. Um, oh, yeah, there's a story behind using uh, light and entities. But I'll tell you guys that over the weekend, too. Hey, we need to have a story time. Native American tacos and story time. That goes together. Um, so I do have more jewelry coming, and, uh, that's always good. Uh, like I said, my friends, Sin City Subs and Candle, oh my gosh, I love you guys. <laughs> we have stuff coming up together. Um, look forward to that because it's so positive. It's, it's like kind of mind-blowing. I'm also going to cover the damage that my medicine has done to my hair. That's going to be great. I'm not going to hesitate. That's going to be great. <laughs> I'm back. I may do that after a while. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. Um, and for my age, I'm look, I'm just going to mention this. For my age... I should be having like maybe a buttload of wrinkles trying and my hand shouldn't be looking all young and everything like my hand look at my hands should be looking like some horrible train wreck of something um <laughs> because my thyroid uh, if my thyroid isn't working, that's when I get looking puffy, okay? I've been using the good molecules, but mostly before the good molecules. Oh, this is just like, this is so lovely. That's what I'm using right now. No, I'm not having it. This smells so pretty. Look, all you ever need is just a little bit of that. You have a rough spot on your arm. I use this for my elbows. I don't like my elbows to be ashy. Look, like right there, my elbow's a little ashy. Um, probably because I've been doing some cleaning. Um, and that helps to get rid of the ashy skin on the elbows. Um, basically all over your body so it's like he's a body scrub oh yeah I've been using the love spell and then I've been using this with it oh the amazement of the two scents together are fantabulous uh, now they will be able to ship these and the shower cookies because they will be putting ice packs in with them. Ooh, now that you know those. Yeah. Anyway, um, so we will also have for the channel um, more sewing coming up. Because you guys know I'm sewing myself a brand new wardrobe. And you get to be a part of watching that. Oh, part of the wardrobe is those patterns that I got from... <laughs> The lovely Miss Can Candace McKenzie. I'll link her somewhere. Um, and I got the most fantabulous patterns. And there's, there's this jacket. Oh, yes. There's this jacket. Like, you guys know I have the railroad denim, right? Now, I want to make that. But... If you saw the pattern for this jacket, I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, why do we always have to have the same denim jacket style? It's either I do it in this really classy, classic looking with uh, the railroad denim, or 
or make it kind of biker looking, which also for a denim jacket would be freaking awesome. Tell me that wouldn't be awesome. Tell me that that would not be awesome to take some railroad denim and make a denim biker jacket. That's right. That's right. And that's not all. I will actually hand stitch in Shars Nation 10. Or no, that's my affiliate code. <laughs> that's all in caps. Shars Fashion Nation on the inside of the jacket. And, and, of course, the matching pants. But, um, tell me that wouldn't be wonderful. I think that would be wonderful. Because I know a lot of people get their, uh, tags done for them. But, I think I would rather hand stitch it in. I mean, I know people could easily pick it out. And that's a shame. It really is. That is just a crying shame. But, um, or I could just make the little inside you can hang your jacket piece and then have it say Char's Fascination on that. Um, which wouldn't hurt. Uh, so the heavy railroad denim is not going to be a summer look. That's going to be for fall and winter. I do have my Harley Davidson boots which would go freaking rad with that. Uh, tell me it wouldn't. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not keeping my Jeffree Star Cosmetics now. I am sending that to uh, Glitz. If you don't know him, I will leave him linked either up here or in the description box. Um, because he is a licensed cosmetologist and he would get more use out of those three palettes than I would. So, I don't just want to sit in there wasting away. Yes, I did cancel my cremated palette order because of some BS going on. I don't want to be affiliated with Jeffree Star anymore. Um, I did give him and his friends a heads up on what Wish.com is doing. But, you know, like, dude, you can't mention who helped you with that. That's bougie. Um, like, I gave you a heads up, dude. And even took a picture. And you can't, you can't mention a person that found that Wish.com was trying to, you know, sell fake Jeffree Star and fake Shane Dawson stuff over on Wish. So, I will disassociate myself by no longer purchasing from Jeffree Star. I don't, I don't need you in my life. Char is just fine. I live within my means. Yeah, I, I live below the poverty level. And I can do a little bust on Teresa Romer as well. You're shameful too. Um, Trying to use uh, money as a way of saying, uh, Oh, well, this is why I have that. But you're letting fabric waste in your closet. And... Fabric, even when it's made into a garment, it doesn't matter if you've sent it to get cleaned, 
eventually those fabrics wear down over time but they're like hanging in your closet and you have so much stuff in your closet half of that shit's gone out of style by the time you get back to it snap oh yeah then you're out there just buying and buying and buying and you're saying oh coach is affordable for everybody i was just looking at a pair of coach sneakers um that was in an advertisement on instagram they're on sale right now for 99 dollars. okay well not everybody can afford a 99 dollar pair of sneakers and uh they're kind of fugly anyway <laughs> kind of fugly not busting on coach but your kid has styled those a lot better they're kind of fugly <laughs> and uh, because I know coach has better than that they, they, they have better designs than those fugly sneaks um, I would rather go with what did I buy? I bought Reeboks the last time. I would buy another pair of Reeboks than wear those fugly sneakers that somebody designed. And I can go to Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> like I usually do and get sneakers for like 20 something dollars. 30 something dollars and I have to be paying on $99 and some change just to like by the time taxes are included you're looking at over $100 anyway and that's just for the ones on sale if they weren't on sale they would be like over 200 bucks and Teresa Roma's trying to say everybody can afford coach get the F out um not, not everybody can afford that. So, uh, that, that was stupid of her to say. Would you agree? That's stupid. Um, let's see, something else I'm doing this year. Now, I know that there's some beauty boxes out there that don't cost that much, and everybody's, oh, buy from this company because they're, look, as Native American and Black, I have no problem with purchasing from cosmetic companies. Okay, but just stop that. <sighs> just stop it. I, I quite frankly, like right now, am looking for, look. Native Americans actually consider the Aztec, Mayan, and Incan to be part of the tribes. I'm looking at the painting that I did, the color change in that because of the weather. I don't know how I get these paintings to do this. It's like magic of some sort of painting. It's like Bob Ross magic. Um, oh yeah, speaking of paintings, there will be more paintings coming up. Um, that'll be fun and you know why I thought of a new kind of giveaway I am never giving away this painting right here that eagle is mine mine it's a tribal thing it's mine that's nothing to do with Philadelphia trust me trust and believe no no to kneeling just no. Humans are not a god. So say no to kneeling down to other people, to bowing down to other people. Um, or I'm going to start talking about the Trail of Tears again. Yeah, because y'all need to learn some fucking history. And I'm just going to say it like that. Y'all need to learn some fucking history. Oh, why? No, shut up. Shut up. Uh, 
I know somebody's mad at me right now for correcting them. You go ahead and you be mad at me. I don't care, but y'all need to shut up. If you can't get your history right, shut up. Anyway. Um, so we're going to stay on the positive notes here of like giveaways that I will be doing. Of course, always skin care and stuff. You know, these are my personal candles. Pink Orchid is so good. Um, I've been using my personalized candle that was made for me this is so beautiful like i like this and my friend knocks when he comes back here you know and calls my name in case i may be changing my clothes um and sometimes i will have this lit and um He'll come back here and he's like, it smells so nice back here. And I'm like, oh yeah, I had my candle lit. It smells so pretty. He likes it. He likes it. He's like, and now if that was made into soap. But I'm not going to ask Nicole just to go out of her way and make that into a soap. Like, you have to think about how is she breathing and stuff. And how can she filter that and everything. She has a heart issue. And bless you, sweetie. You're so sweet. I love you and Wayne. Uh, they really are. They're so sweet. Um, that's why I encourage people, if you want natural products, you buy from Sin City soaps and candles. And that, you know, that is why I'm not trying to flip anybody off. That's why I promote their product. Now, I do have something coming up during the summer that I will ask my friend uh, Izzy. Hey, Beth, it, it's something with Izzy, with Izzy Bell. Um... <laughs> Raz and Isabel have been with me for a while. Um, oh yeah. Just fantabulous people. I gotta make something new for Beth. Girl. Maybe I, maybe I gotta send you one of those. No, I can't for your where you live right now. Oh, I wish I could. No, I should just send you a shower steamer instead. Uh, yeah, make you a little skincare bundle that you can use um, where you live. In your little small, like, tiny home. <laughs> yeah, in your tiny living space. But, um, yeah. No, Beth, I, I don't think I've gave you any skincare. But, uh, yeah, so I will have a combination of giveaways coming up just so you guys are aware of it some of it will be skincare um stuff from death wish coffee okay that they froze me for a moment jerks um stuff from death wish coffee um uh, Oh my gosh, let's see. Some jewelry. <laughs> hey, um, Nicole, you'll be able to get in on those because that'll be a combination of other things like artwork. I'll be doing an artwork giveaway, which will also consist of tea and coffee to go with it. So you can sit back, have some tea, have some coffee, enjoy the view of a painting in your home. Uh, absolutely or go about your day and you know if you like coffee in the morning you can always brew that and or you can have some of the tea um, coming up I'll be teaching you guys I really will this weekend teaching you guys how to steep a pot of paleo wood tea it's a healing tea for the mind body and spirit and it's very pleasant. It's a shamanistic tea. And 
one of my friends that I, you know, uh, lived with in Philadelphia. Oh, he was so sweet. Um, he and his girlfriend, Deja. Oh my gosh, I miss Deja. She is so funny. Um, those two made it. I guess they're still together. I'm just going to say it this way. Um, they make a lovely couple. Tanner and Deja make a lovely couple. Um, their parents don't mind. They're not of the same nationality, but they still love each other. You know? So, right there. Th there you go. And he used to be a cop. <laughs> and his girlfriend is black. What's that tell you? <laughs> I have to laugh at some people out there because I swear y'all stuck on stupid about some shit. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to bust on that. But anyway, guys, I do have that stuff coming up. I hope. I really am because now I have this up on the box. Y'all know that that always looks dirty um, when I'm sewing. I've even cut on my desk and that's all kind of like messed up now. But I hope that this is a better setup for when I'm sewing. Let me move this. Um, my room right now smells like Death Wish coffee. I just opened up that five pound bag today. And so we can just like bring this over here. Maybe set it in the corner. I mean I know you guys will see part of the desk. But like and then turn and then you guys will. You know what? That's, that's a good angle right there. Absolutely that is a good angle. I'm not going to show you how this goes together. You're not allowed to steal my design. <laughs> That's right. Um, but let me just take a scrap of fabric. And we'll see how this goes for uh, your guys' view of the camera and everything. But yeah, I think that'll work. I, I have to like re-thread that bit. Pretty much you get the idea. I think you guys will be able to see this better. Put my glasses back on to re-thread this. The other thing is sometimes this thread gets a little catchy right up here. And I just have to do that and that and then bring it back. Back down there. And since I still have the moisturizer on my fingers. Um, instead of licking the thread. Um, this is almost 40 minutes long. Ah, you know what? Maybe I'm not sorry about that. There you go. Maybe I'm not sorry. We, we all got to stop saying sorry. I'm not sorry. And I'm not even sorry I said I'm not sorry. Because we need to be more in a positive mindset than, um, than not, right? If you stay in a non-positive mindset and get yourself stuck, you need to get yourself unstuck. Don't make excuses. Now, don't make excuses. Oh, it's because I was um, following this trend. Some things are trendy and some things are stupid. You know how you make your channel trend? By being yourself. Plain and simple. 
just like that. That's how you make your channel trend. Let me show you something. This is an easy way to make pleats. There. And I'm showing you an easy way to make pleats. There you go. Teaching you something today. Yeah, that that really is that's an easy way to make a pleat. So, um pleat, stay tuned. Um a bunch of good positive stuff. There we go. See? An easy way to make pleats. And, uh, yeah. That actually is. That's an easy way to make a pleat. Absolutely is the way I just did that is as you're going along with your sewing machine take the fabric I had it like this take the fabric and just like fold it over and sew on it and make sure that you keep all of the lines here aligned and that is a good way to keep your pleat going so pleats everybody I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I hope this setup is better for you. I really do. Because um, people really need to keep a more positive mindset about everything. And like this chair that I'm sitting in, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to sit at the machine and not lose the feeling in my legs and everything. So, yeah, the, this is going to be great, guys. And um, keep a positive mind, and I will see you, well, tomorrow. There you go.